Hi everyone, this is Wani and welcome to Wani's house. Today's video is a subscriber requested video and one of my subscribers, Ida, requested that I help her in this dilemma. You see, Ida wrote me and she said that her birthday is actually on New Year's and she wanted me to assist her or to give her some tips on creating a New Year's slash birthday tablescape. So, I went directly to my stash and this is what I came up with. But first I want to share a quick DIY that will assist you in putting together this tablescape. The supplies that you're going to need is a bud face, some washi tape, a clean towel, and some rubbing alcohol. So I'm going to begin this by cleaning, thoroughly cleaning with alcohol the bud face. And I just want to make sure that all the dust, dirt, everything is off the outside of the bud face. Now when the vase is thoroughly clean, I'm going to take our washi tape. So the washi tape that I'm actually using has some glitter in it, but if you have just a simple metallic washi tape in gold or silver, it would be perfect. So I'm just going to simply try to um, evenly place this washi tape around the top of the bud base. Now, on my tablescape, these bud vases, I would use them for like dessert. So when your guests come and they're about to be seated or when they're coming into the dining area, then in the middle of the plates will be the stemless champagne flutes and you will have like your desserts waiting. So if you're having like mousse or some kind of chocolate mousse with maybe some type of gold sprinkle on the top, that would be really pretty. So as you see here, I have put the washi tape around the um, top lip of the bud vase and this bud vase I purchased from the Dollar Tree a couple of years ago but I know that you'll be able to find them at Michael's or Joann's or even um, um, and you might even be still be able to find them at the Dollar Tree so you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing around the bud vase on this project I have like four um, strands of the washi tape going around to create my design and you can have as how many um, as you want this will be a project if you don't have any um, washi tape and I'm using washi tape because I don't want it to be permanent but if you didn't have washi tape and you wanted something more permanent use painters tape and just spray paint it or you could use decoupage and put glitter on it and so when the decoupage um, the decoupage dried, um, I'm sorry, the Mod Podge dried, it would dry clear, but you would see the glitter on your glass. So because all of the designs on my stemless champagne flutes are different. This um, design, I decided to do to place the tape vertically on the glasses. So I'm basically doing the same thing, just right up under the lip. I began to line my um, tape up and just go around it, doing in the same um, pattern. Okay, so now here are both of my champagne flutes that I've created. 
and like I said before you can also use that metallic um, tape that 3M tape and do the same thing and you won't have the glitter effects now for the second DIY so I'm gonna thoroughly clean my charger plates as well as the bottom of my clear glass plates so the only items that you're going to need for this project are charger plates, a clear glass plates, and some glitter. So after the plates are thoroughly clean with the rubbing alcohol and you let them dry momentarily, you're just going to simply sprinkle a generous amount of the glitter onto the charger plate. Then place the clear plate into the center of the charger and you will see the glitter through the clear glass plate. Now here is um, an example of one of the plate settings and as you see I have our charger as well as our glass plate and you can see the glitter underneath. On top I place one of our stemless champagne flutes that has the gold um, metallic design in it and I think it looks very very festive here. Okay so Ida also said that she had just moved into her new home and she wanted to create a tablescape on a budget. So everything that is on this table are things that you may already have or there are things that are items that you can easily pick up and that are readily available for example this was a bud base i thought of using it because i did not have enough of the stemless champagne flutes like this one to use and it was the same height and almost the same shape as these flutes so that's why I decorated them. You can find the bud vases at the Dollar Tree, um, Walmart, Michaels, and they're like a dollar. These clear glass plates here, I bought them from Ikea, but I have seen them at the Dollar Tree as well as at um, Ikea. And you can also find them at some thrift stores. All the pillar candles are candles that I already had, and the small tea light candles are candles that came from Ikea for 70 cents or the candles that are in Joann's and Michael's they're already in the little glass holders you can get like four of those for like three dollars so it's not expensive at all the table runner is actually fabric it's metallic fa um, fabric but it will be nice if you could get maybe some sequence fabric that would look very festive on your table and um, maybe maybe a yard of that and don't forget to take your coupon and I just thought everything tied in beautifully together here the glitter you may already have and if you don't you can buy that really cheap you can for $2.99 get the thick glitter um, not the thinly um, thin glitter but like the thick um, medium glitter will be beautiful on this the charge if you don't have a black chargers you can have gold chargers. But if you use gold chargers I would suggest you use black glitter so sort of be some kind of contrast to your tablescape the um, cutlery the silverware that I have here is I already had it but if you're having something kind of in, informal you can use the black and gold cutlery that they sell at the Dollar Tree once again is a dollar so you don't have to have a whole lot of money to put together a great tablescape I would say this entire tablescape may be around $25, $30 if I had to go out and buy everything today but like I said once again go get the butt vases and if you don't want to um, do something permanent you know you can use the washi tape if you would like to do something more permanent use the glitter and the decoupage or use metallic gold paint and stripes Now the candles that I'm sharing with you here are all candles that I already had. So the glass um, 
candle holders that are holding the long taper candle. I already had those, but you can easily find them at um, a, some type of thrift store or something similar. The gold um, tall candle holder, holders are some that I had thrifted or some that I already had. So a lot of the things here are things that I already had that I pulled this together so you know you can plan an event it can be an, an impromptu event or a um, last minute event and you want your tablescape to be nice go ahead look at some things that you already have and don't run out and start fretting about um what you don't have you know you will be so surprised as to how your tablescape will come together and really how much nice things you actually have all right, Ida, so here I present to you my tablescape. I, I just got your message today and I just wanted to make sure that I put something together that was satisfactory. I know it's last minute, but I wanted to make sure that everything that I presented to you today were things that you could go out and get should you decide to use some of the of the items of the, the DIYs that I shared with you today and everything is very very affordable but I want to give you enough time so that you will be able to go out and purchase the items that you would need to create this tablescape or one of your own with your own twist on it so I hope that this video was helpful to you and I really really appreciate all of your support and thank you so much and I also want to say Happy New Year to you and Happy Birthday, Chica. I really, really, really hope you enjoy your day. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. But before I do, I want to ask you if you are new to Wani's house, I would love for you to subscribe and go ahead and hit the subscribe button that I'll place right here. Secondly, if you like this video, hit the like button and leave me a comment below. So if you have um, an event coming up and you need a party and a pinch and you need some type of ideas maybe I'll be able to help you don't forget to like comment and subscribe and so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video by saying the next time you're in town you can always stop by Wani's house have a very happy new year bye bye